Hello, this is Christian, and today I will show you how to start WACnet as well as some of its basic functionalities. The first thing to know is that WACnet doesn't require any kind of installation. You can run it directly from your thumb drive, from your Dropbox directory, or even uh, you can even send it to yourself via email. It doesn't matter. What you do need, however, is to have Java installed on your machine. So here I will open the terminal and check if Java is indeed installed, which is java-version. It's the same command on Windows, by the way. So when I'll press enter, if I have Java, I will see the version. If I don't have Java, I will have an error message instead. So enter, and ta-da, I have Java on this machine. Now that I know that, I can run WACnet by typing java space dash jar the, uh, space define name, enter, and now it's running. Okay, so the local, I'm sorry, the web interface is available at localhost 47,800. So on my browser, I'll go to localhost 47,800. Now what I'm seeing here is the WACnet web interface. Now, the section you are the most likely to want to go is the Explorer section. As you can see, the interface is almost identical to the Vigilia interface, which is to say devices on the left and device objects on the right. You can see the names, descriptions, values, units, and two little buttons. The first button is to give you access to the Vigilia uh, historical data if you have it enabled. And the second button is to let you see all the BACnet properties, all those that are not shown here. So say you want to see the high limit, the timestamps, status flag, alarms, all this good jazz. It's available through the second button. Now you have a little filtering bar at the top so I can keep all the objects which have, uh, let's say, analog in it, or binary, or even, oh yeah, I want to show you the trend logs. So one interesting thing with the trend logs is that we added a little download button, so you can export the data and study it into another software. So here I'm going to download the trend log number seven, and open it into my favorite spreadsheet software. And ta-da! As you can see, I have the timestamps at the left and the values at the right. So this is how you are the most likely to use WACnet. You will use the Explorer section and browse your BACnet network. 